Hello, my name is Alex and welcome to Rakusha Records. Today we are playing World Box, a game all about creating a world for the good of the people. Until you encounter lasers, bombs, disasters, or very naughty boys. Ah yes, the world just how I remember it, nothing but ocean. Since it would be too boring to just dump living beings into the ocean for eternal suffering, trust me, I've already done that, let's start off with some generous landscaping. Six lonely islands, just like God envisioned it. To make them actually habitable, however, we'll need to add some biomes. Grassland, mushroom, savanna, enchanted, swamp, jungle, and my absolute favorite, infernal. But without anyone to live on these lands, we have nothing to mess with. This calls for the basic man with basic needs. And since I am a generous god who values the freedom of choice, everyone gets to pick where they want to go. <laughs> the virus is spreading! <laughs> uh, it looks way too easy for them actually. So let's add some challenge. Like a little challenge. Just a very tiny bit. And a little loop for mushroom biome just so they can see the end but they have to really work for it. This is premium land after all. And it's complete. Grassland unfortunately ended up closed, but you'll only find out if you make it through the maze. Let's unpause and see what our bravest think about the new development. While adding a few more, of course. Just a tiny little more. <laughs> Some are actually trying for the grasslands. Hey, why are you turning back? Are you wall hacking? Yeah, we can't have that. That will teach you. Oh goody, the first explorers of Inferno land. <laughs> and some are already on fire. <laughs> How unfortunate. <laughs> Wait, where are you guys going? Do you not like Inferno land? Well, that's just impossible. Let me help them out a bit. How are the others doing, I wonder? Politely swimming in line while also uncomfortably close. <laughs> More lost souls. There you go, I'm helping. Do you not appreciate that? Oh well, nothing I can do about it now. The gates are closed. Wait, why are you still here? And why are you guys blinking? You guys are hungry. I guess I did drop you in the middle of nowhere. At least most of you now have solid ground beneath their feet. Except swamp people, who would rather drown? Infernal has built houses. And food. And discovered fire. Must be really cozy in Infernal land. <laughs> Since you are starving, I'll give you some friends. Or food, I don't judge. You may be hungry, but at least you're not alone anymore. How do you feel about that? Not so well, I see. Wait, I know how I can do this better. You like fish, right? Wait, no, 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 Oh, oh, what a bummer. How could have anyone predicted that? I feel sad now. At least we can conclude that Savannah was chosen by the dumbest people. Purely based on the fact that 90% are still in the water. <laughs> Wait, they're almost dead? Get on land, you idiot. What are you doing? <laughs> oh god, I almost choked. <laughs> okay. Swamp isn't working, so let's give it grassland instead. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Wait, what? We have one survivor? Let's go, Valley, you're the only hope of your people. You gotta survive for their sake. What are you doing? Don't go swimming. Okay, okay, he figured it out. Well, you're starving, but fire is good, I guess. Eh, you'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Veli, are you in one of your two homes? Sir, have you seen an idiot called Veli around here? Nope, definitely wasn't me. I mean, I didn't see him. Oh, okay then. Overall, some booming societies. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Let's give them a few decades to figure themselves out. All right, let's see what has been happening in the world. Looks like grey got dominated by purple with blue standing strong and- Wait, did you just change? Where are you guys even getting the paint from? You guys are one nation as well? Oh yeah, of course, Magic Land is still separated. At least they're unhappy, so that's good. 
<laughs> Savannah's people are still living in tents. <laughs> Why does this make me so happy? <laughs> At least you got roads. <laughs> Safe to say Valley is gone. You know, I'm kind of curious if Levi ever even had a chance as a single human to reproduce. Say hello to the new Levi. His name is Awi, he is unhappy, and his favorite food is bread. Oh, you'll do just fine. But you know, these people have been way too peaceful for my liking. Let's make them angry for no reason. Alright, so how does this exactly work? Oh, you just pour it onto them, I guess. Mmm, <laughs> angry, salty people. Everybody gets to be angry today. Come on, you can do better than that. Stop being friendly to each other. I want to see pillaging and murder. There's no way that you two just united with each other while being at war. Nope, never mind, they definitely did, huh? What is wrong with you? Oh, I will be coming back for you guys later. I was a rather generous god. And now, I am a curious one. There's all these cool weather effects to be used. And Infernal Land was always plagued with wildfires. I know just what you need. But I am no monster. I'll make sure that your land is nicely moisturized. This honestly feels like wrapping up a present. Boy, am I excited to open it up later. Now what to do with you? Whoa! That is awesome. Oh, I can spam them. <laughs> what else can I throw at them? Eh, I'm sure they'll be fine. They may even appreciate the new lakes they have now. Once they get rid of all the burning buildings and ruins that is. <laughs> Huh, you guys are doing much better than I expected too. Unless you were living in the bottom right corner. Let me get back to you later. That's no fair. The north looks way worse compared to the south. I don't want to drop a bomb on them and call it a day however. I do like the idea of to surround their village with TNT. That way they'll be responsible if something goes wrong. You know who I didn't check up on in a while? Owie! And look at how his village has grown, all from a single human. Meanwhile, do you guys hate each other still? Good. Let's make sure it absolutely stays that way. Actually, I do have the perfect people to help you in your little disagreement. I heard they were very passionate about humans as well. Just a couple, right? Hmm, that's a very strange way of negotiating. But they are really effective. Just look at them go. Yeah, go f negotiate. Ah, oh, what the humans won. I bet you can't do that another time. Yeah, see, that's much more fair. Let's give them some privacy to sort out their differences. Meanwhile, Savannah is still living in tents. How do you even... What was that? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> eh, I'm sure they'll be fine. Nice, magic land belongs to the orcs now. Wait, you guys are starving. That's not good. I feel like we have been at this point before. At least that will solve your hunger problems. Oh, nice! I didn't know bears could become a civilization. Alright, you know what? That's it, Savannah folks. You've been tribes for too long. It's time for worms. Oh my god, why do they sound so wet? I hope your stupid land collapses beneath you. In case you're wondering why Infernal Land hasn't been prospering as much as it usually does, it would probably be this guy's fault. Say hello to Anar, who wields a flame sword of terror, definitely does not play nice, slayer of monarchs, unfortunately crippled, and all of that at the glorious age of 15. I am so proud of you. Meanwhile in the savannah the worms are doing good work, but it really looks like somebody just took a bite out of it. You know, we really have been lacking a proper war between two fronts. Let's enable that. <laughs> One misclick later. I am so sorry. We build the connection, have them insult each other despite meeting for the very first time, 
plant some gold as an incentive and watch what will happen. <laughs> Why does it not surprise me that Inferno cannot wait to get into action? They don't even care about the gold! <laughs> See, I knew from the very start that Inferno Land would be the best land in all of existence. Uh, why are you guys still not on the ground of the ocean? I guess when you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. Uh, somehow this doesn't bring the exact joy I was looking for. It's also too loud. Ah, peace and quiet. Why are you guys not fighting anymore? Clearly you still hate each other. When will they ever learn that peace was never an actual option? And breaking the law is punishable by death and destruction. Ah, until I am satisfied, of course. All that is left is to look at our successors, the man who has built it all by himself and sent them to a happier place under a storm of lava. Which honestly looks more like molten cheese. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I did. Make sure to like or dislike and comment down below what your favorite part was, and subscribe for more content. As usual, take care!